Um, well, um, just for anyone who doesn't know, my name's Holly and I am the director of the Galaxy Pageants in the UK. Thank you so much to everyone for being here. Um, I hope you've all had a good night. Uh, I'm sure you'll all agree with me that the girls just look absolutely incredible tonight. Uh, just stunning girls and it's been a pleasure to have you um, today. Um, one thing I do want to say about these girls is, um, as incredible as they've all looked on stage, there's been so much more behind the pretty dresses. Um, uh, we got to meet them in an interview and it was all just so nice getting to really, really know them. Um, and aside from that, uh, you will all know that we've been fundraising for the Christie Counter Charity this year with the Galaxy Pageants. Um, yeah, a big round of applause is needed because trust me, um, we've been calculating how much that they've fundraised and um, with the, all of the finalists this weekend, and they have raised over £36,000. Um, and these girls have all shown whatever people may have of an opinion of a pageant and a beauty queen just just break that right down so well done girls absolutely incredible and so we do have a little treat for you this evening um, we've been organizing the pageants for, for galaxy since our first winners went in 2008 and over the years we have accumulated quite a few queens i can hear them now in the background going shh so girls, um, I would just like to introduce uh, some of my Galaxy Queens, uh, past and present. Uh, we've had girls from uh, all across the UK join us for tonight. Uh, so if I can introduce them all to the stage, I'm sure you'll agree they look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> When we first started organising the pageants, we sent just two winners to America. This year we're crowning nine, so quite an impressive uh, selection we've got. I'm just going to start by introducing them all for you. We've got Beth Greener. She was on Miss Galaxy UK. I used to call her the Kate Moss of the pageant world. And um, she's still a fantastic friend. Uh, we really do become like a family with the Galaxy Girls. Uh, from Miss Galaxy, she went on to compete in Miss International in Japan, representing the UK, and also Miss Grand International in Thailand, representing England. You can see why. And we've got Victoria Toomey. Victoria was our Miss Teen Galaxy Wales. She always had that diva strut since she was 15. And she competed in America uh, in 2011, and um, but she also then went on to win Miss International UK. She competed in Japan and placed in the top five. It's absolutely incredible. And next we have Shauna Mallon. Shauna was at Miss Teen Galaxy England. I'm going to keep trying to remember dates. 2012. There we go. Um, Shauna is an absolute star. She fell in love with the Galaxy system and actually returned last year to compete in Miss Galaxy England, where she placed in the top five. It's one of my dearest friends. And these girls were all in my, in my wedding this year. Just absolutely incredible. So thank you, Shauna. Oh, Hallie, I didn't even... <laughs> Look at these two trying to make way in the front. <laughs> I'm going to get to you shortly, girls. I know you want to be on the front row. Well, first we've got Megan Howell. Megan was Miss Galaxy England 2012, so she was Sister Queens with Shauna. Megan is originally from the Wirral, but we couldn't keep her away this weekend, and she actually flew back, especially from Dubai, to be with us. Uh, she has been working with Emirates, um, and it is just an absolute honour to have her back, um, so thank you, Megan. And next we have Robin Morrison. Robin was our very, very first Mrs. Galaxy UK. And she showed the Americans how we do it, and she went on to place first runner-up. She's since gone on to compete in Mrs. World and Mrs. Globe internationally, so an honour to have her back here on the stage with us this evening. Thank you, Robin. And we have our gorgeous Helen McGregor. She was Miss Teen Galaxy England 2013. <laughs> uh, Helen uh, went on to place in the top five in the international pageants. And her and the girls became such good friends. They share a villa room in America and they all call themselves the Balloons. So thank you, Helen. And we have Rachel Tate. Rachel was Miss Galaxy Wales 2013. And you can see she's got a bit of a big crown there. She actually won the international title that year in America. We have won the international 
national title five times now, so very, very proud um, to have Rachel back on the stage with us today. I'm just going to work in date order, guys. Okay, so I'm going to uh, introduce Hannah Elliott. <laughs> was our very first Junior Miss Galaxy UK. Absolutely incredible. And she went on to play second runner-up in the Junior Miss Galaxy competition too. And all these girls are just as beautiful on the inside as well as out, because I've had the pleasure of really getting to know them over the years. And then we have, oh, I'm sorry, Beth, here from behind me, sorry. And this is Bethany Hammett. Bethany was our Miss T Galaxy England 2012. I still refer to her as the cheeky one. Uh, so, uh, absolutely gorgeous, and she is competing in the World Supermodel Pageant in the UK and the Power Pageant later this year as well. Thank you, Beth. And we've got Daisy Wetlow. I'm oh, sorry, I know we've got Lowe's. They, they, we can't keep them away. Daisy was our Miss T Galaxy England 2014. Daisy went on to compete in America and she actually placed first runner-up in the International Team Galaxy competition. And then she went on to compete in Miss England where she placed in the top 10. Yeah, I think so, so amazing. And we've got Dion Robertson. You all probably recognise Dion from Lake Ville this evening. Dion was Miss Galaxy Scotland 2013 uh, and so like she said she knows exactly how the girls are feeling and she also placed first runner-up in the international pageant. Absolutely incredible. And we have Samantha Rackley, a gorgeous Mrs Galaxy UK from 2013. Absolutely beautiful. Samantha competed in America but she didn't stop there. She's continued to compete since the Galaxy competitions and she's currently the reigning Miss America Queen. You can definitely see why. Big one to this year. Now, well first I'm going to go with Tia. Tia was our uh, Junior Miss Galaxy UK last year. But as you can see she's now wearing a Europe sash. That's because she did so incredibly in America. Her prize has been to return to this year's competition as Junior Miss Galaxy Europe. She was crowned last night, she looked absolutely beautiful. And her sister queen for this year is Hallie Morrison. And Hallie is now the new Junior Miss Galaxy UK. She was crowned last night. No question as to how she won that crown. Absolutely gorgeous. And adorable as well. And we also have Leah, our very first new Miss... It's not you yet, Kia. It's similar. <laughs> no, no, it's good. So, Kia was excited there. Um, Leah, we've got Kia. Um, Leah is our new Miss T Galaxy Wales. She took this crown home on Friday night. And so she will be heading out to America this summer for the Miss Teen Galaxy competition all after. And I think she's just a little bit excited for this. Yeah, just a little bit. She won every award as well this week, so high scoring in every round. And then we have her gorgeous new sister queen, Kia Owens. She's our new Miss Galaxy Wales. Her very first time taking to the Galaxy stage this weekend. And she also uh, will be travelling to Orlando to compete in the Miss Galaxy competition this summer. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Kia. And we've got Ella Ravenscroft. Ella also was crowned last night. So that crown is new to the head. And she's our new Miss Team Galaxy England. Absolutely gorgeous. You wouldn't tell that she's had a little bit of a sickness book today. I wish I looked like that when I was ill. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. And then we have Emma Bain, our new Miss Galaxy Scotland. Emma was crowned on Friday night as well. And she keeps telling me that she still doesn't believe this happened. And keeps crying, but I promise I'm not doing any Miss Universe here. These are the winners. We don't make mistakes like that at Galaxy. It's absolutely gorgeous. And she planned the dress perfectly to match the crown before she even won, so well done, Emma. And next we have Anna Makin. 
Thank you so much and let's hear it for the Galaxy Queens. Yeah. 